couple of days, the CEO of EdNC went to visit Butler High School on the day of the tragic shooting, and she joins us right now. Um, Mebin Rash, thanks very much for taking some time for me. Um, I want to reference an editorial that you wrote. Tomorrow we will continue to try to build a better world. Help me figure out what that looks like. It does not look like today. What do you mean by that? So my job is to help North Carolina think about how school shootings, how school violence impacts our students, our schools, our state, and our future. And on the day that I arrived at the shooting at Butler High School, the sun was shining down, and as I went to check in the front office, the first thing you see, the first thing you see at most schools across North Carolina is a safe place sign. And it, you know, my tears started then. And so that day, and this day, and in the days to come, we will love and support our students and our teachers, the principals, the leaders at CMS that are doing the best that they can do in a horrific situation. But the question is going forward, what's the story, North Carolina? What's the story on school violence? What's the story on the safety of our students? And what's our agency together to figure out the path forward? Um, the United States as a whole seems to be unwilling to come to grips with gun violence and I'm wondering if that unwillingness is ever going to resolve this situation. I don't know if I'm editorializing right now, but uh, it seems as if that unwillingness is always going to be an impasse to this creation of safe schools. So I think one of the problems in dealing with a complex public policy issue is it's easy to zero in on one issue. And these are complex issues that play out differently in different schools, in different communities, in different states. This has to do with bullying. It has to do um, with a lot of different issues. One of the most incredible moments of the day was when an anti-bullying, a 14-year-old anti-bullying advocate comes to the school and stands outside the school and sings a cappella a song she's written called It Still Hurts. And so it is those type of moments that we hope will bring us together and create a process where together across all the lines of division, we begin to figure out a way forward for our school students, our schools, and our state. There is a yeah. House Select Committee in North Carolina that is already working on this issue. They're, they've already been holding hearings all over the state. We have a survey at ednc.org that you can go and you can take and you can tell our policymakers what you want the solution to this issue to look like in your school, in your community, and for North Carolina. And help us figure out what the story is. The last question I have for you is, if indeed we create what seems like uh, prison-like conditions at schools in which people are being wanted, in which backpacks have to be clear, in which baggy pants can't be worn, in which uh, we are taking all of these security measures. If you're creating prison-like atmospheres, aren't you anticipating that students are going to view schools as prisons? That can't be our greater. Your description can't be our greater. At a vigil the night of the shooting, a pastor said, we will tell a story as a school, as a community, as a city that will inspire people to believe greater. What you described can't be our greater. I think, you know, Eric Davis, the chair of the State Board of Education, took some time to meet with me on the day of the shooting, and he said, we are more than ter determined than ever to make our schools safe for every one of our students. North Carolina can come together and figure out a path forward that is healthy and positive for our students, for our schools, for our teachers, for our communities. It doesn't have to look like what you described. Okay, we'll leave it right there. We'll give you the last word. Uh, listen, I always appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us, Mevin. Wish you the best of luck. Uh, again, Ed NC. It's a fantastic uh, organization and publication. Uh, that's our end of conversation for today. Right now, it's time to check in with the weather on the ones forecast center.